Alright, this looks like the place. This looks like Google. I'm gonna get a picture with that green guy because he's cool. There's another Google person. Look at this one. Glasses. Nice. Google. 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 Alright, so what am I doing at Google headquarters? So they have this executive briefing center place and they bring in different companies that want to learn more about Google and about YouTube and how to do things on there. So sometimes they will bring in creators to talk about their experience in working with brands to make cool stuff, cool content that both your audience likes and then also that helps the brand too. So I'm here today to talk to a hardware store. You might see them right there, but it's not to say, hey, let's work together, but it's for me to share insights. So if they did work with influencers, that'd be great. I am gonna show them part of our 30 year old lock safe video where we go to Lowe's and we like create like a dance section in the corner. It's like it has its own little area where Home Depot, it's there in a couple of aisles, but they're different in every store. It's a little confusing, it's so funny. I'm excited to talk to them. So I'm not gonna bring the camera in because I don't know how much they'll like that if I film them <laughs> I'm in there, but that's what I'm doing here and wish me luck. All right, and that's a wrap. See you guys, thanks. Okay, it is hotter out here than usual. That was really cool. Lowe's has done some cool stuff with influencer marketing. I'm gonna go watch it. They did one with Jake Roper. This sounded really, really cool. I'll link it below. It was like recreating Home Alone. Like those, the Home Alone things, like do they actually, would they work? Like making the doorknob hot. The nails different things like that. I'm super intrigued. I can't believe I haven't seen it because I consume a lot of YouTube videos. So now off to the airport, traveling to Boston. Look at how they've got Google G bikes. G bikes, look how cool they look. I don't know if you have to have like a sign into them or whatever, but I'm gonna go ride on one because why not? Look at these bikes. Nice bike. What is this? Pretty funny, I like it. So this is a good way to get around campus. You can just get on the bike, there's no gears. Look at this wacky bike coming up here though. Conference bike, wow. All right, here's the problem. My Lyft driver is at a different building. I don't know this area very well. So I have to somehow take my backpack, this luggage, and the camera and ride on a bike and go find him at the other building. So uh, I gotta go. All right, we got it. We got it. <laughs> I found it. <laughs> Thank you, Google Bikes, for saving the day. I'll meet you over there. I'm now returning the Google bike. That was helpful and a good workout before I have my five hour flight to Boston. Okay, return the bike here. All right. Okay, one small airport tip. I just made it through, it took forever. Whenever you're going through TSA Pre, if you're above the age of 12 and below the age of 65, yes, I think that's what it is. You have to go through these little places where you stand up and you put your arms up, like the cops are pointing a gun at you, and then this thing, x-ray thing spins around, and then you go out and it shows you if they need to pat you down or anything. One tip, do not ever and ever breathe when you are inside of that metal detector thing. Because what happens is, sometimes people go in there, they put their hands up, and, they, and then they, they fart in there. They pass gas, they cut the cheese, whatever term you want to use, and so it could stink for like four or five different times. So I always take like a deep breath, go in there, put my arms up, wait, 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 and then you sneak out and then you breathe. Important tip. All right, pizza was good. Now it's time for a six hour flight and I am in coach. Usually when I fly Delta, we get free upgrades, but I'm on United today, sadly. So sitting in the back, but it's all right. It's all good. I'm trying to upload a video to the YouTube channel and then we get in late tonight. So here we go. Okay, so the flight is delayed. Apparently it's super rainy in Boston, so we get free treats, my favorite cookies. And we don't have to wait in the air, we can wait on the ground. That's much better. I'm gonna go pull a Casey Neistat and go change in the bathroom. He usually takes showers and changes in the main lounge. I'm gonna go change in the bathroom because I'm not fancy enough for the main lounge. This is why we're delayed right there. This green and yellow dots and blue. That's rain, probably wanna be safe, so. United gave us free cookies. So I'm gonna go chill, work on some computer stuff, but we might make it to Boston, we may not.
Now, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Boston Logan International Airport, where the local time is 11.45 p.m. So right now I'm walking, waiting for the shuttle, but I'm watching YouTube TV on my phone of the World Series. I'm keeping up. This is exciting, 10th inning, extra innings, but uh, yeah, shuttle should be here soon. Hey, how's it going? Thanks for coming and getting me. Game over, Astros win. I made it to my hotel. This is the exact same hotel, let me mute this. This is the exact same hotel that we did the football one where my kid cheats at football and Lincoln and I traveled here. We were in a different room obviously, but this is the one. I may or may not put some football highlights in right here just to show you Lincoln's season this year. Anyway, long travel day. Hopefully there are some fun things in here today for you. This is a cool, crazy week, but I do miss the family. I miss the girls a lot in Lincoln. So yeah, um, good night. Thanks for watching the travel vlog. Thanks Google for having me over there today. That was cool.